it's me again let's hope I don't have errors recording this I've got carrots here tonight got some three onions that I'm going to cut I'm mixing two of these cube one of each cube into a cup I've got the raja spice I've got chicken I've got butternut I've got this soup I've already um, put it into the cup and prepared it here are the cubes it's also in the cup I've got the butternut that I've cut up uh, gem squash, butternut carrots and onions I have already now prepared now when you saw the, the carrots it was all diced up I just want to show you how I make my dice my carrots my way to small little cubes I do this and then while it's still whole there you go cut it through the center diced little carrots nice other one the white carrots I normally cut through at the top again and then I dice them again and that's how I make my diced little carrots now I'm going to pour some oil in here yeah? I only use the water to straighten out my frying pan because it was a bit skew and the food might look colorless because of the light under which I'm cooking um, yeah so the light has an effect on the food coloring yeah is the spice that I will now be using to give flavor to the onions now I've added the spices to taste so you can choose your spices and I would recommend steak and chop some fry spice that goes down very nicely it gives a very nice tangy taste to your onions and once it's braised it will also have that same effect on your chicken of course it draws in I have already put in this and this into the cup as I said so I'm just going to bring my kettle to a boil and then add this I've already added a flat teaspoon of this spice into here, yeah, as you can see. And that will also give taste and flavor to the chicken. I'll be adding that to braise the chicken in. I'm adding my hot water. And then I mix it. tell you from experience it's a very nice mixture and it really gives a nice flavor to your food I'm going to take my chicken pieces add it in here and braise it mm. It's just a little bit of something from the carrots that I've skinned. Well, kind of semi skinned. I've cut some um, chicken breasts. And a few slices. And I'm going to mix it in with the onion. The onion, what I love so much about the onion is it traps the texture of your herbs and spices that you throw in and then one can just braise the meat until it's a nice brown colour and then yeah, get on with the cooking. The reason why I'm currently using a fry pan is <laughs> my gas ran out a little bit before the time. So yeah, so now I'm using the fry pan till then. 
And I also find that the bri this frying pan is very economical on my electricity as well, compared to a stove. I've got my chicken in one corner of my frying pan, and I'm cooking it so long. In my microwave, I've got rice already also cooking. I have now added some carrots into the frying pan. The chicken is already uh, cooked, but now I'm adding uh, carrots. I have now put in my gem squash and my carrots. Once the food is almost ready, I'll be using the soup mix um, that I've now prepared and just before serving, I will stir this in and it will add that extra boost of flavour to the food and it will also create a nice thick sauce. This is the uh, stuff that, that these are the spices ingredients that I used for my rice. I used rice spice which gives this colouring. Then I've now after it cooked I've added this aromat. Um, this aromat is for um, to add for taste. So I'm just adding aromat to add that nice taste to the rice. Here's the fork I'm busy using. And I use this spoon for hygiene purposes to just taste the rice. Mmm, nice. Maintain a good hygiene. I will rinse the spoon off. If I need to, then I will again taste some more of this rice. But it's come out, I do say, very, very nice. The aromat is now ready, nicely mixed in as you saw. With the gem squash facing downwards, it may be cooked, but as you can see, it doesn't have the same color on the sides. So what I do is put my gym squash around. You can feel this good. Look at this one, because it's so nice and small, the water got to it. And this one too. So what I usually do is I take the sauce. I just Spread it nicely over the gem squash and some of it will even cook now once I put the lid on further. Mm, gives it a nice taste. As you can see. The carrots are cooked. The butternut is cooked, the gem squash is cooked, the chicken is nicely cooked. All I do is just push the, turn the chicken around a bit. Just give it some nice colouring to the chicken. And now what I'm going to now do is add the sauce. The soup sauce. Now it's going to make like a thick gravy. Leave no, no sauce left out. 
Make sure all the sauces in the the rest of the sauce is going to go into the pan. So I'm just stirring it quickly. I've added a little bit of water from the kettle into the cup. I'll just add a little bit more. I could cook an entire meal in 10 minutes, but yes, with a bit of editing. As you can see, it's starting to bubble nice and thick. Turn down the temperature a bit on my fry pan here. Get it to cook a bit slower, so it doesn't burn. Like that. It's nice and soft. is ready to be served. I'm now currently dished up the jelly squash. What I'm doing is I'm adding sauce to the jam squash for my family. They love it when I do this. Here's the final outcome. Chicken. Here's the butternut. Carrots. Gem squash. Rice. And here it is. The rice. The chicken. Carrots.